All right, everybody, welcome back to another Arena Football Nation YouTube video. In today's video, we got a little something different. I, uh, as you know, this is a predominantly arena or indoor football league YouTube channel, but in light of some recent events when it comes to spring football, I thought I'd make a video on it, see how it does, if there's any interest out there for this, and maybe if it's something we can add to the repertoire of uh, content on the channel. And that is the UFL, the United Football League. So if you haven't heard yet or didn't know, the United States Football League and the XFL are the two spring leagues that been um, that uh, were in uh, contention this past year for spring football, uh, outdoor, not indoor uh, football. And uh, the XFL was, um, you know, brought back in 2020 by Vince McMahon. I, I believe it did really well. Um, a lot of good fan support. Uh, it was really exciting. I think some of the rule changes they made were, were also smart. Not only just smart, but also exciting in their own right. And um, of course, you have the United States Football League. They, they did really well you know, as a league. Had a really good foundation. And uh, I think financially, they might have even broke even or, or did well enough to not be in the negative. And uh, unfortunately, the XFL, I believe I read and had heard that they were kind of hurting financially. Um, but that was in the second iteration. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the, uh, second. So this would be the third, the one that's, uh, by, uh, Dwayne, the rock Johnson and Danny Garcia. That's the one that we're currently talking about today. They were, uh, the XFL was revived again <laughs> by, uh, Dwayne and Danny Garcia. And, uh, that's the one I'm currently talking about. It, it um, I think financially it didn't do too well. So, at the end of the day, with these two big leagues uh, for spring football, I think we all saw the writing on the wall that eventually it, things would not work out and they, it's not a sustainable way to go. I think the XFL financially was in trouble there. The USFL, I think, was on the brink of maybe not being able to continue to operate. Uh, who knows, obviously, tru truly. You know, five, ten, ten years on the road if these leagues would still be around. But the right on the wall was that they something needed to change for there to be the stability to be in place for the, the leagues to continue. So, uh, and one of the worst kept secrets I've ever <laughs> known in the past couple of years, um, everybody knew about it, felt like that they were going to combine. And here you can see spring football leagues in 2024, the USFL and XFL combining to create the United Football League. So pretty exciting times. Uh, I think this is going to save spring outdoor football, and that's going to you know really bring together all the good things that were about the both leagues, and uh, you know the best franchises, the best ownerships, everything is going to come together, and this is probably the best chance that spring football, you know outside spring football, has at continuing and being successful. So um, <clears throat> yeah. So here you have the map of all the teams, the, the teams that did make the cut. So of course they, uh, they between the two leagues, uh, you th I think you'd have what sixteen franchises, eight in each. So unfortunately, some teams had to be cut, and um, they picked the uh, the best franchises, both in support, I think, in quality, to uh, bring together into the United Football League. And here you can see the uh, here you can see the teams on the map. So. Um, they broke it up into two conferences. I think this was a, this was brilliant on their own, and to make two conferences, and then each conference represent the uh, leagues that they came from. So you have the USFL con conference, and uh, of course, the team one that made the cut was a no-brainer. You have the uh, Birmingham Stallions playing out of Birmingham, Alabama, and the Protective Stadium with a capacity of forty-seven thousand, and the uh, head coach Skip Holtz, and uh, they're back-to-back -back champions in the USFL. The two seasons the league has had. Uh, really solid franchise. Uh, this was a no-brainer. They have a good arena. Great fan support. Um, one of the home bases last season. So that was a no-brainer. Bringing them along. Uh, next up, you have the uh, Memphis Showboats. Playing at Memphis, Tennessee in the Simmons Bank Liberty Sta Stadium. Excuse me. Capacity of 58,000. And they are coached by John DeFilippo. DeFilippo. Excuse me. And uh, I think that was also a uh, good option. You have the stadium in place. You have a 
I think the fan base can be a little better. I think they'll buy in at, with the later start this league will have, hopefully. Uh, it's really cold out there at that time of year when this league will be starting up. Uh, so I think the support can be there and we'll get there, get better, especially with the amount of popularity and uh, PR this new league will get. Uh, next, you have the uh, Houston Roughnecks. That's going to be in the USFL conference. Now, this one was really interesting, and uh, I think they made a another brilliant move here. So, you wanted to bring four and four, four from the USFL and four from the XFL, right? And I think that the branding of the Houston Roughnecks is so more, so much more prevalent and uh, more known, and the fan support for the Houston Roughnecks um, franchise and concept is so much better. Than the gamblers that's just my opinion that's from what i've seen watching the games and just online fan support so the brilliant move i'm talking about is they decided to take the houston gamblers um you know the players the staff all the all the stuff that you know makes a team run behind the scenes they they made that be the houston gamblers and they just took the uh houston roughnecks branding so uh, it sucks for the previous regime that was at the houston roughnecks but i i'm a but at the end of the day, you bring both together, and it, like I said, I, I think it's a brilliant move. You're getting the Roughnecks branding, which is what people, I think, will be more receptive to, what they'll care about. They're the bigger fan base. I think the Gambler fan base, they'll, they'll buy right in with the fact that it's going to be the Houston Gambler players and coaches and all that good stuff. So I think that was a really good move. Um, yeah. The only thing is they don't have a stadium set yet. They can't play in their old stadium that they were using. They have, so the, the rumor going around is they're going to play at a Rice Stadium until renovations are done at the old one. And um, I think that's what it's going to have to be unless they find something else. But um, yeah, head coach is Curtis Johnson. And finally, in the USFL conference, we have the Michigan Panthers. Obviously, in Detroit, Michigan, they play at a Ford Field with a capacity of 65,000. First season was in 2022, and their head coach is Mike Nolan. While the Panthers weren't the most strongest team in the USFL last year, they had a pretty decent season overall, and I could see them being a cornerstone of the league with the fact that they fan base should be pretty decent, and they have their own stadium. So that's the USFL conference. Now let's go over to the XFL conference. These are the four teams brought over from the XFL. And uh, I, I feel like at the end of the day, this was, this was also a no-brainer. These are the franchises everybody was, you know, throwing around that we're probably going to move over in this com com combination of the two leagues. And um, first up is Arlington Renegades, uh, the champion from the XFL this past season. They play in Ar Arlington, Texas at the Choctaw Stadium with a capacity of 25,000. And Bob Stoops is the head coach. So, like I said, no-brainer. You got the champion. From the XFL, of course, had to make it. Good fan base. Solid franchise. Next up, uh, another solid franchise is DC Defenders. In Washington, DC, playing at uh, Audi Field. Capacity of 20,000. And a head coach in Reggie Barlow. This is another like no-brainer. Uh, DC's got a really fanatic fan base. Really solid. They, they you know do really well with um, you know, fans showing up, fans online. Uh, you know, just showing support. Uh, it's a great branding. I think the logo that they did this past year was pretty solid. Um, yeah, Audi Field's an amazing field, and those fans do a good job of filling the seats. So, that, you know, obviously, another solid franchise to bring in. Next up is the San Antonio Brahmas. So, this is uh, this is the team that plays, obviously, in San Antonio, Texas, and then they play out of the Alamo Dome, 64,000. And, yeah, Wade Phillips, their head coach. So, uh, uh, from what I understood, there's, like, uh, some contract disputes. Um, Wade Phillips was brought in as a new head coach. And um, Wade Phillips is just, you know, legendary. Legendary coach. I think he'll have the Brahmas in a really good spot. He, you know, really sol solid, you know, mind when it comes to the game of football. So, uh, San Antonio, they have really good fan support. I think they're, you know, obviously a city star of having a massive franchises in sports. Uh, they don't have an NFL team, obviously, so fans are going to come out in droves to support the Brahmas. And, uh, yeah, I think that with them surviving this, uh, you know, new fusion of the two leagues, I think they'll 
definitely uh, be happy and come out and support the team. Uh, another, yeah, I think this is one of uh, Dwayne's, uh, you know, brainchild babies. So, given the whole Brahma thematic theme, so I think this will be a uh, another solid franchise coming in the new league. And then finally, of course, is the St. Louis Battlehawks. What, what more can you say about this franchise? Um, they play at St. Louis, Missouri, of course, in the Dome at America Center with 67,000 capacity, and they got Anthony Betch. Becht, Betch, sorry, how pronounce that wrong, but. <clears throat> Yeah, this is one. This is you know a team, massive fan support. You know, really exciting the games, solid team. Um, what more can you say? This is one of those ones that were no brainers when the uh, XFL and USFL were having talks about combining. Um, yeah, I feel like DC, St. Louis, and Renegades, absolutely no brainers. San Antonio was on the cusp, but most likely would have made it. And then uh, definitely they made probably the best choices. You know strategically for the usfl so that's all that's all uh, eight teams and uh, i think they did a good job picking the teams they picked here you go uh, here's the conferences look out or look out um yeah i'm really excited to see this league uh, see how it does should be really exciting happy for the fans the fans are the ones who really won here because you don't want to see this all go away and dissolve and um, yeah, th these are, uh, definitely, uh, football starred fans in some of these, these, uh, areas. And, uh, I think spring football is just something that is definitely a possibility. It's something that can be really big. It's something that can, you know, really be a staple in, um, household names. So really happy and exciting for this, uh, you know, fusion of the two leagues. I think it's a, going to be a great thing. Here you can see all the coaches. And uh, yeah, I got some really solid coaches here. Really excited for all of them. Bob Stoops. I think he's, you know, really going to have the, the Renegades, you know, where they need to be even bigger and better, making a push. I think Wade Phillips is going to do a really awesome job and uh, turn around that San Antonio club around really quick. And of course, you got, you know, Anthony does a really good job. This fan supporter out there really loves him. I think they're going to do great. So, uh, yeah, I mean, this is really solid coaches. I think they're all going to do a great job. I think the uh, the uh, competitive edge in this league is going to be good. And um, the other uh, really exciting announcement they made when they announced this, uh, this com combination was um, they're going to have, and this was a no-brainer, this was another thing that you know, everybody, they, they were saying, this is what needs to happen if they combine these two teams, make the new league. And I was like, you have the US, USFL champion and the XFL champion play game one. You know, I think this, I think this game's going to be huge. You're going to have so many fans. You're going to have so many people tuning in on TV. I, I think this is just going to be extremely exciting. You know, you got the uh, United Bowl, you know, and that's going to be week one, March 30th. That's when the season's going to start. So here we are in January 3rd really exciting it's right around the corner and uh yeah who, who do you have your bets on you got the stallions or you got the renegades yeah it's gonna be an amazing game really exciting i can't wait and then uh yeah march 30th kicks off you're gonna have abc espn fox and fox sports one and uh here's all the teams so really excited for it this is a uh, you know spring football i think it needs more exposure I, I think it that you know it needs more fan support. It needs more people to get their eyes on it and support, it like they, the NFL and everything else. I'm kind of burnt out in the NFL, to be honest with you. It, um, it, it, I love having alternate, you know, sources of football. That's why I love arena and indoor football. It, it's just exciting. It's more homegrown. It feels like more more stuffs on the line. You get more. These the fans are just as passionate in some of these markets as NFL fans are passionate. So it's fun. It's fun seeing you know the different logos, and names, and everything. So I think spring football is definitely got a chance. Or spring outdoor football definitely has a chance to survive and be successful with this United Football League come into fruition from the two other leagues. And uh, hopefully, you all uh, you get something out of this. You enjoyed this, and then you all uh, appreciate the content. Leave me a like if you like the video, and subscribe if you want more content like this. Uh, we cover arena and indoor football. 
if uh, that you're, you're new to the channel from watching this video. And uh, yeah, I try to just cover spring football and sports in general. But uh, yeah, should be a great time. And uh, I hope you're all excited as I am. All right, everybody, thank you for watching the video. Like I said, leave a like and uh, leave me a comment. What do you think about the United Football League? And uh, if your team made it or not. And uh, if you're excited for this upcoming season. All right, everybody, I'll see you in the next one.